the uh, distinguished colleagues, the nominee before us. Uh, without saying much, just give us a short resume of yourself and then uh, the distinguished senators will. The civil senators will treat you in line with the provisions of the law. Let me begin by thanking God Almighty, who make it possible for us to be here for this screening exercise. My thanks and appreciation to the President and Commander-in-Chief who found me worthy to be part of these ministerial nominees. Your Excellency, the President of the Senate, most distinguished Senator Godswila Pavio, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Barao Jibirin, Principal Officers of the 10th Senate, your Excellency, with your permission, let me start the recognition from the Senators from my state. I will start with my Senator, Senator Ibrahim Hassan Angombo, Tolban Gombe, the immediate past Governor of Gombe State, Senator representing Gombe North Senatorial District, and Senator Tony Aro representing Gombe South. My bosses, distinguished senators of the 10th Assembly, Your Excellency, Mr. President, with your permission, I want to recognize my colleagues, non-serving senators. I will start with Senator Bello Hayatu Gorzo, the former chief whip of the National Assembly. Senator Joshua Lidani, Senator Ahmed Hassan Barata, Senator Aidi Giang, Senator Alkali Jajere, Senator Jalo Zarami. Your Excellency, the member representing my federal constituency in the House of Reps is equally here, Honorable Rashid, former members of House of Reps from my state, Honorable Binta Bello, Honorable Omar Nafada. Your Excellency, let me take us to the last part of the resume. I was a member of the 6th, 7th, and 9th Senate. When I was at the 6th Senate, I was made the Vice Chairman of the Senate Committee on State and Local Government. When I returned in 2011, I was the chairman of the Senate Committee on Nigerian Air Force. In 2019, after the general election, I was made as the chairman of the Senate Committee on National Population and National Identity and an acting chairman of the Senate Committee on Industries. Later, I was moved as the chairman of the Senate Committee on Trade and Investment. Mr. President, my very bosses, distinguished senators of the 10th Assembly. I am glad to inform you, Mr. President, among the referrals that were made to my committee, two have scale for presidential assent. Copyright Act Cap C28 LFN 2008, Repeal and Enactment Bill 2021. A financial Reporting Council Act 2021 Amendment Bill 20 SB 824 was also assented by Mr. President and Commander in Chief. Mr. President, my bosses, distinguished senators, this is a very brief biography of my resume. Mr. President, with your permission, I raise my case. The distinguished colleagues, uh, uh, the clerk, the, the standing room. Uh, 
พอดันได้Again, for the benefit of the guests, the visitors who accompany the nominee, the Senate Standing Orders 2022, as amended in Order 9, says, "Privileges are the rights enjoyed by the Senate collectively." and by the members of the Senate individually, conferred by the Legislative Houses Powers and Privileges Act, Cap 208, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 1990, and other statutes or by practice, precedents, usages, and customs. So one of the privileges, or one of them, one of the main privileges is that when a senator appears in a chamber like this, he will introduce himself for the generality of the public, and thereafter he will take a bow because it is assumed for him to have been a senator, he's more than qualified to be a minister. After all, he was the vice of assigning ministers. So, and uh, I must also apologize to my colleagues who are, who are representing the nominees that today we didn't give you much chance to talk about them because we expect you know them. Like him, he was in the ninth Senate and he was also in the Eighth Assembly. He was even in the Sixth. So, the civil senator. Thank you and congratulations on your nomination. You may now exercise your privilege. Take a bow and leave.